everybody welcome back to another angler news update video it's our a video that i try to do every wednesday uh we've been pretty good about it every wednesday here recently so try to do it every wednesday where we, we just cover the winners of uh the angler competitions around the community we cover um different uh news items that maybe came up throughout the week or um in the tackle box stream on wednesday so first we'll start with our competition winners and we'll start with tackle tuesday last night was the episode one of season three and we had our three new competitors caitlin pro xck and tipsy fishing with us and um unfortunately that did nothing to uh prevent darth sloan from winning again one again at 133 pounds and 133.57 pounds is what he won with. So congratulations to Darth Sloan on winning Tackle Tuesday yet again. And then we also have King of the Casual, which is real this bad boy in here. For or let's do community I guess we'll do the community tackle Tuesday. So community tackle Tuesday, again, that's just a, a tournament that runs all day Tuesday. And uh, I have all the terms and everything in my Discord, which will be linked below. Uh, that was won by dun, 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 SG Dirt 4207, our a second time winner at 36.24 pounds of Camiso Barbel. So that is awesome. Congratulations, SG. That is excellent. Um, a second time winner. We'll have to put we're, we're gonna have to put another little crown next to your name in the Discord, and uh, Sloan's gonna get another uh, little trophy icon next to his name. So that's pretty fun. Uh, King of the Catch last week was Crucian Carp, and the winner of King of the Catch again, Angler Official Discord. It's a weekly competition hosted in the official Discord. That was won by Loopmaster with the two kg Crucian Carp. Congratulations, Loopmaster. That's dope. Um, uh, again, that's a, that is something that I've wanted to win for a long time. Um, unfortunately have not been able to, but that's awesome. Uh, another piece of business will be, we'll cover the tackle box stream and the tackle box stream. Um, Jaxi did go over water temperatures again, um, per Jaxi and you know, the EW team, which does include developers that. They, he did reiterate twice on stream that right now temperatures are a dead end and he acknowledged that it looks like there's there's something to it but it is a dead end at the moment um what else let's see i just it that leads me to believe that you know the data that we have as a community on temperatures there's there's a correlation but correlation is not causation right so just because we're seeing this pattern doesn't mean you know that pattern is the cause of people getting bites right just because the temperature reading on that screen may not be the reason but i know that's not going to dissuade anybody um it just it's you know ew the ew team saying the temperatures may be appearing to us as more important than they really are when it comes to landing trophy fish um, da, 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 let's see. And you know, I know some people are not going to believe Jaxi, not going to believe the W staff, and that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, I just, for me, I, I really don't see why EW would want to dissuade people from having fun and enjoying the game. Um, I mean, they, if they wanted to dissuade people from sharing data that helps each other find diamonds, they wouldn't allow Wilson and the rest of the crew to post the hotspot maps in the official discord, right? So it just, for me, I, I just don't see the logic there in that to, you know, just not believing what Jaxie's saying on stream. Or what uh, the EW team is saying. I just don't see. Just don't see it. But what I care most about is people are having fun playing a game that I like to have fun playing. So you guys just you guys just push on, do whatever you're doing. If you're having fun, I'm having fun. 
That's all that matters to me. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see what else. Ooh, another good tidbit uh, from from the stream. Jerry Lee, he said, you know, he said you never really just want to go with a diamond only hook. Whenever you pull up to a spot, you never want to go to diamond only hook. He suggested cycling through the fish in and around the area, and it will help with respawns, which goes perfectly in line with my video from yesterday talking about how. Um, a good strategy to finding more diamonds and landing bigger fish is to start with a smaller hook, find out what the fish are biting on with those smaller hooks, and then gradually move up in hook size once you have really nailed down what bait the fish are biting on. That way you're catching fish, you're pulling fish out, you know what they're biting on, and that can help you with respawns as well. Um, da -da 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 -da. That, was, that was a fun little tidbit that we got there. And then let's see here. Oh, this other big one. This is a big one. It's uh, the um, info that Gaz put in the Discord um, from last week. He gave us a little, little dev update here. He talked about some features that are er in early to mid development. So I don't know what that means, but they're in early to mid development. The first one, the new reserve. It's coming together. It's cooking. There's going to be a new reserve on the horizon somewhere. Um, there's new fish that's going to be put somewhere. Um, they didn't say what reserve it's going to be on, but there's going to be new fish coming to the game soon. That's one of the features in early to mid development. Uh, apparently there's something with hair. There's going to be new hairstyles coming. So some more customization for our characters, which is really cool. Um, they want to improve the float behavior, specifically interacting with water, current, wind, that sort of thing. Um... Then there's also some general fishing gameplay improvements they're working on. Uh, one of my favorite updates that Gaz mentioned was the new invite system, which will make uh, things easier to play with friends. That will be super cool. I'm very excited for that. There's going to be a third-person vehicle camera coming to the game, which is awesome. Let's see what else. Just some general bugs and quality of life updates as well that are coming with that. Um, I think that's really the majority of the big news from this past week. Um, some exciting stuff. It's not a whole lot, but it's some exciting stuff that I'm pretty excited about um, going forward. So I appreciate everybody uh, listening. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if that was helpful, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe, and I'll be trying to put this out every week. We'll see. But I appreciate it. Have a good day. Oh, I'll catch you in the next one. That's my that's my line. That's the line I'm supposed to say. I'll catch you in the next one. Because we're fishing and we catch fish. Get it? Get it.